Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tammy. I'm the owner of Walnut Creek Bath Boutique. Today is another soap making video. I know I've been bringing a lot of those to you lately, but I this weekend and maybe next weekend is about it for me. It's right now, it's the weekend before Labor Day. And um, I have to get these made before my Covered Bridge Festival, and so that's just what I've been doing. I've been really concentrating on building up my soap uh, inventory. And that's why, all, you know, all these videos are, are soap right now, which basically is my favorite thing in the world to do. So <laughs> hopefully that's okay with you guys. Um, I do have some plans, though, coming up. I'm going to be, uh, I've got my orange cream. If, if you uh, saw that video of me trying to formulate my first ever emulsion, I've got it. I've got it. So that's coming. I've got a sugar scrub coming. I've got a... Um, a cranberry butter for the cream and a sugar scrub with that so I'm really excited about some of those things but those can wait <laughs> a few more weeks before I really need to get on those I also need to get um, my wax milk started for before my first show which is in two weeks and I just don't know if I'm gonna get any more wax melts made I'm gonna try um, but anyway <laughs> I just like ramble don't I I'm sorry <laughs> But anyway, today's I, today is like the third or fourth soap I've made, and um, I just got back from vacation yesterday morning at 2 o'clock in the morning, got back. Yesterday was a, a laundry and, and doing nothing else day. Um, so today I've been busy making soap. So today's video is Purple Sandalwood. Now this is a Rustic essential soap, and I honestly, I don't know where it's going as far as the IFRA uh, certificate and the standards that change. Uh, come May of next year. So I'm not really sure if it's going to be good for soap yet. I won't know until Rustic Essentials, you know, tells me. <laughs> but I do know that this makes a decent wax melt. And and I I don't sell a lot of wax melts in this purple sandalwood. But um, I know that I will sell some. So I think I'm okay as far as the fragrance oil and, and it not having to be pitched or anything. But anyway... Um, I wanted, I've wanted. i been wanting to try a soap with this for quite a while, and I thought, I'm just going to try a nine bar batch. Just give it give it a go. See, see how customers, you know, kind of respond to that. I really, really like the scent. It's a clean scent, but um, it's, it's the sandalwood, but there's more to it. I'm not a huge sandalwood fan, um, but I do really like this. So, you know, there's there's that um but anyway it's going to discolor and um that's okay i think what i'm going to do is do a pretty heavy purple um i may even put a little bit of neon into my soap berry purple i have this tkb i just want to kind of get rid of it i'm, I'm kind of done with that i did order some more purples from micas and more um so i'm just kind of i'm wanting to get rid of this so i'm going to use some of this and uh, maybe put just a little bit of neon in it just to kind of heighten that purple because it is going to discolor from the only thing I could find was uh, a medium brown. I don't know. That probably means something to everybody. So I don't know. I don't know what medium brown means to that uh, reviewer. So we're just going to see. I'm not going to try to lighten it or anything like that with TD. I'm just going to do the fragrance and whatever color that happens to be with the purple um so it should be pretty quick and easy nothing too extravagant on this soap i'm just gonna like i said just a quick uh, purple swirl a little on top and we're gonna call it good okay i think that's pretty good all right lye water So Rustic Essentials doesn't add any kind of soap notes on their website, which is kind of a pain. Um, so I'm not sure. That was my goat's milk, guys, and this is my fragrance oil. I'm not sure 
how this is supposed to behave. Um, I like Rustic Essentials more for the candle and wax melt fragrances. I think I, um, I just, I don't, I don't like that they don't do that for us. Um, but that's all right. It's pretty loose. It smells so good. <laughs> the last few um, batches of soap I've made have come have taken so long to um, to come to trace. It's been ridiculous. It's like. I can't win, right? I'm either, they're either speeding up because my recipe speeds trace, or it's taken 20 minutes to get to the point where I can pour them because they are so slow to trace. Um, I would say that this is a really, this is not even close to being traced. Not even close. It's emulsified, but it's not even close to being a trace. Um, and I don't want my colors to muddy. So I'm not going to force this. You know, I might just do a quick in the pot swirl. It's almost, what? It's 7.30. Um, I still have quite a bit to do to get ready for work tomorrow. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna do a quick in the pot swirl. And, um, but I do want it to almost be at a, at a light trace when I do that. I don't want it even, I want a good, good um, obvious trace on it before I do that because I tend to get impatient and it muddies it. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to walk away. I'm going to clean up in here a little bit, keep stirring. And when it's at that trace, I'll bring you back. All right, look at this. That's at a trace. And <laughs> oops, let me put my glasses back on. Almost, almost forgot. This is very loose. It's at a trace though, but it's much, it, it's been like less than a minute, literally less than a minute. Um, so I'm going to try to go really high. And do a quick stir. We're in. See if it's too thick for this. Kind of. All right, oops, I need to clean up the edges a little bit. All right, guys, like I said, quick and easy. I have my camera a little bit lower, so I don't know 
if you guys let me know what you think if this is too low I'm trying to get it to where you can actually see what I'm doing but still have a good view too so anyway I am going to cover this I would see pop it but I have to go take the soap that's in the oven now out because I have to go make dinner <laughs> so that happens to me all the time I have to go make dinner and I have to take my soap out of the oven I don't know if that messes up my my gel phase or not probably but anyway you guys I'll bring you back in a couple days and we're gonna cut it up okay it is my last soap of the day to cut and um, it is purple sandalwood and it's actually quite soft and I think I put um, sodium lactate in it but it is it is quite soft so I'm gonna have to be a little bit careful with it very soft who boy oh that is a really thick sample I could almost get two out of that I'm still kind of bummed about having to go down to an inch on my bar sizes um, and it looks like it's going to discolor quite a bit still um, see a middle piece here so I you know it's okay the swirls are okay I'm anxious to see what it's going to look like when all of those uh, the discoloration goes throughout the whole bar um, I'm going to give it a couple more days before I clean them up and then I'll bring you back so you can see the finish bar once it's all done uh, discoloring oh my gosh you guys purple sandalwood smells so good it smells so good I want to say this is going to be a really good um, unisex slash men's type scent it does have kind of a cologne vibe to it which I love I really really like this it's um it's a little strong even for me I I would almost think I could go down to 4% in soap with this and I think I would be pretty happy with it um, because I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit of a headache because it's a, it's a little too strong and I have to be careful with that I get headaches if I smell too too many fragrances <laughs> too fast or if they're too strong I get headaches but I think this is going to be a really popular scent I may have to make another uh, batch maybe even a big batch of this it did discolor uh, but nothing horrible and I'm trying to remember I know guys I've been just cranking out these soaps you know back to back to back and I can't remember and I and I have my notes upstairs and my computer is always upstairs I, I don't usually bring it down so I don't have my notes in front of me so I'm ill prepared <laughs> but um, I'm trying to remember if I put any TD in this to kind of counteract some of that discoloring I I uh, knew was gonna happen but if I did or didn't I I don't think I care I think it's pretty it's a it's a taupey tan in that purple I think it's pretty so guys thanks so much for watching I appreciate your time I hope you enjoy the time you spend with me and if you do please give me a thumbs up I really do appreciate those I appreciate every subscriber every thumbs up you give me every comment it's great and I thank you so so much for those and I will see you in the next video bye